theater, uh, there's never been a time that we needed theater more. Theater is necessary, theater is relevant, uh, and I'm not just saying that because I like my fancy new job and I want to keep it. Um, theater is the thing that gives us the opportunity to come together because inherently we as human beings have the need to come together to share stories, to share space, uh, to share emotional connection. Um, and theater gives us the opportunity to experience Ubuntu. Ubuntu is the South African belief that all of humanity is interconnected. Uh, loosely translated, it means uh, I am because you are. It's the, the belief that all of us share a responsibility to one another. Uh, and that is what great theater is. Theater is a sharing of stories, it's a sharing of cultures, uh, and it's a sharing of responsibilities. It's the acknowledgement that uh, I am here on this stage because you are out there in that audience, that we're in it together. Uh, film and TV are, are passive, right? The, the film is gonna play regardless of whether you're in the room or not. Uh, but theater is dynamic, it's a conversation, uh, and it's a chance to experience Ubuntu. So if we're going to reboot the Citadel with Ubuntu, we're going to do it by being inclusive. Uh, our stages are going to come alive with different artists of different cultural backgrounds and different abilities. We're going to celebrate all of the different communities here in Edmonton. Culturally diverse artists, differently abled artists, great stories told by these communities, for these communities, about these communities. Uh, because ultimately, we want to see ourselves reflected on the stage. You're only going to come to the theatre if you feel like it's a place that's safe and welcoming and a place where your voice can be heard. So how do we do that? We do that by reaching out. Next season is my first season of programming. We are going to program our very first main stage production written by an Indigenous playwright. Our very first in 50 years. It's a new play by Corey Payette called Children of God that tells the story of the residential school system. And I couldn't be prouder that as part of uh, Canada's 150th, we're celebrating not by telling a new story about John A. Macdonald, but by telling an important Canadian story by an Indigenous voice. We also just hired our very first Indigenous associate artist, Christine Frederick. And Christine is going to work with us at the Citadel to build a strong relationship between the Citadel and Edmonton's Indigenous population to make this a safe, welcoming place for Indigenous artists uh, and Indigenous audiences. Because ultimately, that's what theatre is. Theatre is a connection between artists and audiences. It's a live conversation. It's a sharing back and forth. The play is just the first part. Uh, the play is the, the catalyst to the conversation, to the change, uh, to the embodiment of Ubuntu. One of the other shows that we're going to do next season is appropriately titled Ubuntu, uh, The Cave Town Project. And it's a show that I created in South Africa. I took a group of Canadian actors to South Africa to work with a group of South African actors. And it's the kind of show that could only be made by putting two cultures in a room together with different artistic practices and different beliefs to build something together. It was a great kick in the artistic butt about why to make theatre and how to make theatre and what great theatre is. I remember one of the first days I, uh, I said, okay, today we're gonna start work on this scene. And the Canadian actors all dutifully took out their pens and paper and sat down and started to write. And the South African performers all got up and started to dance. And the Canadian actors all looked at me like, are we, are we gonna, I guess we're gonna. So the Canadians got up and started to dance. And it was just the most exciting moment where we started to find a language together. Because ultimately, we were speaking in different languages, both artistically uh, and, and literally. Uh, and because we were building it from scratch, there was more than one moment where I thought to myself, you know, we could have done Hamlet. We could have just picked a show <laughs> where the script is already written and we know what's going on. But the goal in this was to build something truly, truly unique. And we did. We built a story about our shared responsibility to one another on either side of the globe. A couple of years before that, uh, I had gone to Bosnia to create a show, and I brought the, the Bosnian show to Toronto, uh, and I reached out to the Bosnian-Canadian community to, to build, build connections, and, and the show went really well. 
Uh, and then a couple of years later, I brought Ubuntu to Toronto and it played there. And I remember sitting in the audience uh, one night during Ubuntu uh, and hearing beside me a couple speaking in Bosnian. Uh, and I thought to myself, oh my God, this is it, this is it, right? They felt safe and respected and welcome at the theater. They saw their story reflected at the theater and felt like it was a place that they belonged. So they came back to take a chance on a show that wasn't about their culture specifically, but was because they felt like it was a place where they could share and they could be a part of the storytelling. And to me, that's the big win. Because theater's not a museum. Theater's not about what happened in the past. Theater is about the connection that we can make right now. And Edmonton is leading the charge in this. Uh, Edmonton, just a few weeks ago, uh, had its very first Deaf Arts Festival, which happened at the same time in the same building as Black Arts Matters. I went one night and I got to see this incredible deaf opera and then I left that room and walked into another room and got to see uh, Nasra Adam do incredible spoken word and I was standing with a deaf artist watching black artists thinking this is it, this is what we're striving for, this, this connection, this sharing because ultimately theatre is a collaborative art form. Uh, I always say I, I play well with others uh, and I do, that's, that's, why, that's why I'm in this. So as we think about rebooting the Citadel, as we think about the next 50 years ahead, we think about it with Ubuntu. We think about it with the belief that a person is a person through other persons. And I believe that by sharing stories that share our humanity, we'll move forward together. And as you know, a new resident of Edmonton, I feel like it's a great way to start my relationship with you. Uh, so I hope I'll see you at the theater next year.